Hey everybody, it's Grant. <laughs> hey everybody, it's Grant. And today's video is gonna be about how I'm gonna get this zombie business, this business that I bought that was absolutely closed down, foreclosed, completely abandoned, dirty, nasty, all the things you could possibly think about. Uh, it's pretty on the outside, that's nice. But we're gonna be talking about what I'm gonna be doing going forward, how we're gonna get this business back, booming, open, cleaned, and making a profit. Let's do it. So the first thing that we're actually gonna be doing in this business, um, which is scheduled for what, Tuesday? Roughly, yeah, Tuesday, is going to be a deep clean. The first bid we got was like 3,500 bucks. We got it down to like 22, 22? 21. So we got down to 2100 bucks. Uh, understand, first step with this a little pro tip, negotiate absolutely everything. They came and bid this job, and because it was so poorly taken care of, they probably would charge me six, seven hundred bucks to literally deep clean, get inside the drains. They, they'll make this place smell pine solly fresh. And my other stores were probably four to seven hundred bucks. I think it should be four. They'll probably charge me seven, so that's what I'm just telling you. But in here, they were like, uh, no. It's, it's absolutely horrible. So the first thing we are doing in here is spending 2,100 bucks on Tuesday to deep clean the crap out of this place to make sure that it's ready to start putting the equipment back in. Our equipment's scheduled for Friday of next week. And so hopefully the next time I come to Houston, I will have a fully operational store that's ready to go and we'll actually start getting the rest of that staff trained so that way we can have some fresh, fresh juices. So the next thing I'm gonna be doing going forward in this business is making sure my general manager is trained. So after we get the place cleaned, the equipment reinstalled and the facility going and literally put the racks back up, it just frustrates me. Like, you know, I'm so bitter. I'm gonna take the racks down. After we do that, we're gonna get our general manager trained. So she's actually currently at my other three stores that are open, operating and rocking right now. And she's learning, growing, and she's gonna be absolutely amazing. How I got her, I posted on Facebook, never, ever, ever underestimate the power of Facebook. So I posted on Facebook, shared it to all the community pages in my local area, shared it to all the pages in Houston that I could find. And then also we ran Indeed ads, we did all kinds of other stuff, we were calling headhunters and we found her off of actual Facebook, not all the companies that we actually paid for to find an employee. So we ended up doing this, got her, she's getting trained, she's gonna be absolutely amazing, she's conscious about food costs. She's been in the restaurant business for a very long time. She's been a manager trainer. She's been a, uh, a, a team trainer for Tads. I don't know if you've ever been there, but it's a, a Cajun restaurant that's actually becoming somewhat national. And so she is the regional trainer for all of them. Stole her away, brought over here, and that's gonna be our next thing, is getting her trained. The very next thing is gonna be this. The next thing that we've actually been doing to get the store open, we've been doing for about a month now, setting up all the accounts, transferring everything over. We actually had to end up doing this deal. This deal took us way longer. So remember this, anytime you do a reno, anytime you do a, a business purchase, anytime you're trying to do something with lawyers and contracts and, and, and money, it's always gonna take you longer than you expect. So just be prepared for that because a lot of these things are gonna take money, right? They're gonna take time. And if you don't have enough of those two things, be careful because you can put yourself in a bind. So there's another pro tip for you. But after we get all our accounts transferred, all my assistants are working on this literally every day, uh, sending emails, getting things set up, following up with these accounts. Uh, we're actually gonna be finishing hiring the staff. Right now, uh, we're actually gonna have a team party tonight, which will be pretty cool. Uh, and we're gonna just be welcoming the staff to their new owner and just kind of showing them my expectations, talking to them, treating them really nice, giving them some goals uh, for future stores. And then this store, once it's open, we'll be doing that same thing. So, hiring the staff. We wanna find young college kids, high school kids, uh, because they'll be able to work for an, a, an hourly wage that actually is able to be paid by this, this business. Um, also, they get tips, which adds up to another, like another 2 to $3, depending on how tips go, uh, when they do this. So we're going to be doing that, getting all that taken care of. We're going to be training this staff. I've got corporate coming out here to train both these new stores, and they'll be training my existing stores. So like I said, get our employees, train our employees, and then also treat our employees nice while telling the expectations that I have for them. So as far as this business goes, I don't have a whole lot of design things that I wanna do, but one other thing that I'll be doing is submitting to the HOA, the POA, whatever you wanna call them, but the boss of uh, all the shopping centers here to make them look very similar and nice, if I can actually go ahead and put another sign right here. Typically, that's gonna be 75% of the size of my original sign, which is nice, um, but yes, boom, right there, that would be nice. You're not gonna get a whole lot of business from it. It, it doesn't look, like it's gonna do much from the road, 
It's gonna cost about 5,000 bucks to seven, but I want to do it and I think it's worth it. So once we see if that design element's gonna work, the sign on the side of the building, uh, once we get the store cleaned, the equipment in there, the manager absolutely trains, which she's doing fantastic. Jessica, if you're watching this, I'm very proud of you. I absolutely am very proud of you. Uh, also, Monica, for our Katie store, I'm very proud of you as well. Very, very happy with you. I'm happy with everybody that works in our main squeeze stores. Uh, we're, we really have an amazing team. I'm truly blessed. Uh, also, once we get that staff hired and trained, we are gonna do all this other stuff, but we're gonna do one last thing. We are going to do a marketing strategy that even corporate, when I actually bought this business, something I haven't shared in these any of the videos, I actually negotiated with corporate as well to put some money behind me taking these stores over because I'm a franchisee that cares about the customer experience more than I care about my profits. You guys know that here on the channel. Like this channel hasn't made enough money to, to buy you one merch giveaway, but I've given you guys merch giveaways after merch giveaways after merch giveaways. We need to do some more. I like this. Stay tuned for future videos. But here's the thing. We're gonna do a marketing strategy. I'm putting $10,000 up to actually go get gift cards out and go pass them out to all of these places. The gift cards I'm having made, they're actually gonna have an expiration date on them, about three months. So I'm gonna put that money in, they're gonna go out, pass them out, and they're gonna have three months to get their booties up in here to go and buy and try our uh, delicious but yet nutritious treats. Also, Main Squeeze Corporate has put up another $10,000. So that way we can do a great marketing strategy where they do it on radio, we blast it on social media, which I would prefer. Uh, but we're looking at all that right now. We're getting a package together to, to actually maximize that marketing. Uh, also, I'm gonna put probably another $10,000 behind that as well to go and try to just get social events going out here, to get some influencer events. We're gonna be doing that as well. We're gonna have all the influencer out here when you have like 5,000, 10,000 on Instagram, 100,000 on YouTube, 50,000 on YouTube, even 10,000 on YouTube. We're gonna be bringing all these influencers in here. They're gonna be TikToking and and, and Instagramming and, and, and making YouTube videos about this place. And that way, everybody with that power of social media will see us. And I'm gonna give them really cool things, gift cards to the store, uh, a chance to just kind of get paid to actually be a creator. Honestly, if I saw something that said, hey, $100 gift card if you have so many subscribers, you know, cool, maybe I'll go stop by and, and make a quick video for them, put on a reel. I, I think that's very good. It rewards not only my, uh, my, my future customers, which are those people that are gonna see those videos, but also the influencers as well. I really enjoy that. Um, Social media, we are going to be blasting out. So many ads coming soon, this, this. As soon as the store gets put back together, we are blasting it out with an ETA of when we are coming back and bringing this store back to life. It's gonna be a tough journey, folks. I'm really excited about it. I'm more excited about showing you the finished product when this thing's back on, the lights are still going, and the, and the, the blender bike is a moving. So, this is 100% uh, uh, grant powered, and uh, also Jessica. Oh, sorry, plant powered. <laughs> See you guys later. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoy this series. And I hope that my, my business knowledge and my business experience and my business cost can actually go ahead and help you if you ever decide to do some of these as well. So share this video out. Anybody ever want to do a business, tag them and uh, see you later.